Okay, so we have this really scratched up old lock here. It's a rim cylinder. Let's try and pick it open. And then we'll gut it, see what's inside, if it needs any stock security pins. We shall put them in to make the lock more fun. But let's see what it gives us in the meantime. So, our golf club pick, light tension. I shall search for those pins. Make sure this is tight enough. Might get a wider tensioner. I think that's the fifty thousandths. So click at three, click at five. It's only five pinner. Click on one and it's open. So don't think there's any security pins inside this. Nice and quick, let's get it cutted. So cut this thing and then add something interesting to it afterwards. So, gonna take the clip off. And then, got this. So, turn that, that much. And I will use a shim just in case. There's T pins or something weird in here that shouldn't be in here. Okay, put the shimmy shim shimmy in there. It is nice that it's all like a kind of a cast brass. So you can see there's solder there or something that holds the pins in. So you can thread it from the bottom if you wanted to. Let's try it shim this or get this in here the plug follower now shim over there got a grubby plug here it is an old lock so what do you expect and clean this up though get rid of all the dirt and grime so the first one is a standard pin of course Standard pin. This one, next one is a standard pin, next one is a standard pin, next one is a standard pin. Yep. And it's probably a standard pin. Yep, so all standard pins. And the core. Nothing done to the core. So it can be cleaned up. I'll clean it up before I put it back together. Get rid of all the dirt anyway. So that's nasty. And then pin one should be a standard and it is. Pin two I think is a standard. There's that steel spring. So number two should be a standard and it is. And a steel spring. That spring, if we can, stuck in the tail or whatever. Shooting over there. No. Standard. Yeah. And the shear line, the gap uh, between the two pins is pretty big, so we've got a, quite a big shear line. And we'll, you can have a look at that in a sec if you want. So put this guy here. Next of course is a standard. And the last one is a it's a standard. 
looking at the standards. So I notice immediately that these these springs are kind of big and well, not too strong, even though they're steel or whatever. But the shear line is the biggest problem with this. The shear line's too big. I know it makes the lock probably reliable or whatever with its key and so on, but maybe it's wear and tear as well. I'll zoom in on the shear line. You can almost see how big the gap is on the shear line just from here. So See the those pins are actually all now pushed up as far as they'll go. So if there's any more big gaps there, we can see that those big gaps are caused by too big of a shear line. So it's going to make it very easy to rake anyhow. So this pin, this pin, this pin, this pin. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this better. So, take that key pin, take that one away. It's a bit better, anyhow. This one I'll replace, it's too, the shear line on that is too big for my liking. Put it, give it this one here, and yeah, the other key pins I'll leave the same. So I want to make more balance the key pins a bit more. So try to make this one on there. Just take these two out. Make try to make them shorter key pins so we can balance the pin stack. Like this. Now, obviously, we won't have a key for it, but it doesn't matter. It's meant to be picked open, and um, it's only a, it's a, a only a improved. I don't call it a challenge lock. I call it an improved stock lock for fun picking. So there we have a nice variation: small keeping, big keeping, small keeping, big keeping, and small keeping. Take those crappy key pins out the way. Now we fix the we will fix the um, drivers a bit. So get rid of them. That one. And we'll because that's a long key pin. I'll put a put a short short spool in there maybe and we'll test and see how that is. I will put a take a longer spool. Put a longer spool in this one. Get rid of that ugly key pin. Or that ugly driver pin. I'm calling them key pins. Driver pin. Nice. Now it's got a nice no hardly any shear line on that one now. Much smaller, and I will replace this one because it's, it's all grubby and nasty looking. And I shall put a. Obviously, it's gonna have to. It's gonna have to fit. But I'll put something else there. Put a, is that a, no, it's not a, I'm going to look for a decent standard pin there. And I'll replace that last one there with a, uh, this guy here. Much better. So let's have a look there. You can see we've made this lock better. 
course this first one here is still a bit crappy looking. Maybe he can be a nervous hit because this one, this key pin, if we can grab it, is uh, got a little bit of a taper to it, so uh, he can be a nervous hit trap, I suppose. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. So we've improved the pins and all that inside here. Got rid of those crappy pins. Now let's see what the effectiveness will be like. So put this in here. Put this in here. Alright, so the first pin is this standard pin. Next pin is a short spool. He's effective. Next one is a spool. Definitely effective. Next one is a very long key pin and there's a a standard pin in there to help make it overset and hide the security pins and the last one is this double serrated like that so sorry let's just show you what we did there so now you can see the effectiveness there this one in here is just going to be a standard pin, but you can see we've made it more effective. Yeah, I could put another security pin in there, but I'm not going to. Just want to make it more fun. So there it is. All standard pins, stock. Now it's still a stock lock, but we're using stock security pins. So now it's better, and we'll send it on like that. Thanks.